Hey y'all, it's Tara. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be swatching for y'all my brand new candy coated cheesecake collection. This collection consists of seven gorgeous buttery creams and one jelly hollow flaky top coat. I'm also going to be talking about my brand new product, pregame hand and nail buff, as well as giving y'all a full swatch, an actual swatch of another brand new Crelly that will be available for pre-order with all of the things. It's a beautiful sheer white Crelly with gorgeous iridescent glitters in it. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch me swatch these eight polishes on pop sticks and then I'll be popping back in spontaneously here and there to give you a little bit more info about the massive pre-order as well as the new collection as well as uh, sort of pointing out what my swatchers have done for me. I am including pictures from my swatch team. There's a little clip in here of G Money doing a water marble with these. I show y'all that they stamp. Just sit back, sit tight, enjoy the show, and I'll be right back. So the Candy Coated Cheesecake Collection is part of a massive pre-order that I will have open beginning March the 4th. It's supposed to close on the 20th, but I may wind up leaving that open through the 21st as well. I'm not quite sure yet. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to be on vacation, so then when I come home from vacation, I will be taking inventory of everything that I'm going to have to buy, obviously, to create all of these polishes for you guys, and then I can start mixing doing what I need to once all of my raw materials show up. My turnaround time, I'm stating as of right now, to be 14 to 21 business days. That's not, obviously does not include holidays, weekends, and all that kind of jazz. 14 to 21 business days. I will always keep the group up to date on any delays they may have, anything that, you know, any issues I, that I may run into. So please make sure you are a member of the Basis Loaded Lacquer Bleacher Creatures Group on Facebook. In addition to the nine polishes that y'all see featured here in this video, I'm also opening up for pre-order a ton of other polishes that had previously been seen, but these are the brand new nine polishes, but there will be some returning favorites. Please also know that if you order ready to ship items with pre-order items on the website, your entire order will not ship until all of the pre-order polishes have been made. So then everything's gonna ship at once. So please don't order ready to ship and think that it's immediately gonna be flying out the door to you. Thanks. So let me go ahead and touch on the pre-game hand and nail buff quickly. It's not harsh, it's not aggressive, it's not gonna tear your skin off at all. One of the main ingredients in pre-game is baking soda. Everybody sort of knows the texture of baking soda, so that's pretty much what you're going to be working with. It's formulated to gently buff the surface of your nails. It also will exfoliate your skin, but it also has citric acid in it, which will help aid in whitening those nail beds. If you, if you have yellowed nails from years of wear and polish, you may get a benefit from that ingredient as well. But there's also a ton of oils in it, you guys. So what I suggest is once you rinse off the, the scrub itself to just pat dry with a towel. You don't have to completely wipe off your hands. So after I use the scrub, I usually just let it sit, you know, 10, 15 minutes before I go in with the Manny. Just because I want those oils sitting on my skin and absorbing and doing all the things that oils are supposed to be doing. So the ingredients are listed on the label. The ingredients, of course, will be listed on the website. What I'll have available for pre-order is a one ounce jar. Yeah, one ounce jar of pre-game. It'll be $4.50 per jar. And my sort of my signature house scent for pre-game is Moroccan Mint. 
It smells amazing. Everyone who has tested it and tried it out absolutely adores the scent. It does give you a bit of a spa feel, but it's not like super overwhelming. And I love it. It's delicious. It's soft. You, you can use it anywhere on your body, not just, you know, your hands and your nails. But I actually demoed this product when I was at G Money's house last fall. Um, the footage never made it into her, her video that she did on the scrub. So I filmed a quick, just a quick little how-to in my bathroom one night, and I sent her all the raw footage. She put it into one of her YouTube videos. So down in, the, uh, bleh, down in the description box, I will put a link to G Money's video, and it will start, if you click the link, it will start, it'll pick up where I am starting to demo the product. So it's about, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. Uh, it's very awkward. I'm awkward. Y'all already know that. So no surprise there, but uh, you'll get an idea of what the, what the texture is. Um, I show you how I use it. G Money did cut out the part where I talk about just sort of uh, pat drying the product, you know, your hands with the towel after you've rinsed it off. So I did want to make sure that I mentioned that. Just pat dry, you know, let those oils soak in. I wouldn't be like rubbing and scrubbing all the oils off once you've removed the scrub itself. But I absolutely adore this product. And I have a ton of different fragrance oils as well, so hopefully I can do some spring and summery type scents. But as of right now, I'm only offering one scent, and that is sort of my house blend, my house scent, which is Moroccan Mint. I absolutely love it. So yeah, while you're shopping the pre-order for the Golden Girls collection, and you shop my vase, and all these other amazing things that I'm going to have available for pre order on the website, go ahead and grab you a one-ounce jar of pre-game, hand and nail buff. Let me know what you think about it. Now here's windshield wipers, which is the topper. I only did two coats on my pop sticks. Uh, you will see Deidre's swatches here in just a sec. She, she put it over, I think, her, pa um, her bare, bare nail. And then I think she also did a coat or two. I'm not sure how many coats, but she put it over a black base. It looks absolutely beautiful. I love that she was able to capture that hollow flame in sunlight. It's absolutely stunning. And it does sort of transform each of the creams in this collection. But you ain't got to stop there. You ain't got to stop there. You can put this over anything. Look, look, look. Look at this. Look at Deidre's work. Look at those flakies. Her nails look stunning, of course, anyway. Love it. Yeah, this is for sure looking like a full sun shot. Deidre, she always does amazing work, so make sure you check her out. I'm going to have all my swatchers listed in the description box as well. So here is windshield wipers over the entire collection. I did do one coat over black as well. But the peach, it, it transformed that peach. It's given me like full-on rose gold vibes. I just, ugh, this topper. It's gorgeous. Here are Deidre's swatches. Absolutely amazing. Mm, they all look so beautiful on her. And then she's got windshield wipers by itself there in one coat, maybe two, over black. And here's G Money's water marble video. If you already watched her and her full YouTube video where she reviewed all these polishes, then this is not new to you. But I asked her if I could include it in my video because let's face it, I just I don't have time to be doing a full water marble video. Uh, unfortunately. So she was kind enough to loan me her her raw footage. And we all know, like, G-Money is the absolute queen of water marbles. And I also swatched, well, stamp swatched all of, the, you know, the entire collection, all seven of these creams over black and over white. So there you have it. So now I'm just going to jump right into a full swatch, a two coat swatch of You Shot My Vase. 
This is a beautiful sheer white Crelly with an iridescent glitter mix. And these iridescent glitters shift all colors that are present and found in the candy coated cheesecake collection itself. Please make sure when you're working with jellies and Crellies that you start with a thin coat and you let it dry completely before you go back in with your subsequent subsequent coats. You can thicken up, you know, your second coat, third coat, fourth coat, twentieth coat, if you would like. But please, I recommend that you apply one thin coat as your base, so that you can give your second coat sort of something to hang on to, sort of something to grip onto, especially when they uh, when it contains glitters. If it's a glitter polish or a flaky, or something with zhuzh, you know, uh, build up that zhuzh. I absolutely love the way this turned out. It was really giving me like milk back. I cannot, why can I never say milk bath? Milk bath vibes. When I was swatching it, it looks like I've just sort of encapsulated these glitters into a beautiful milky base. Absolutely beautiful. I stopped at two coats. Of course, you can do more if you like, if you would like to. I stopped at two coats because I was really happy with my coverage. I can see a little bit of my nail line. Not really worried about it, but I love this polish so much. This is going to be the, the one that I wear when I'm on vacation next week, the next two weeks actually. So yeah, top that up. Um, I didn't need a glitter grabber or a really, you know, thirsty thick top coat. These glitters weren't really textured at all really for me, but you know, do what you want. Uh, here's a little bit of a little bit of macro, a little macro action. I absolutely love these glitters. I mean, look, there's a peach, there's a spearminty green color. Every color that's found in candy coated cheesecake is found in this polish. It's absolutely stunning. And it, it will be, even be beautiful for wintertime manis too. So yeah. So make sure you go check out A, all of my swatchers. I'll have them all linked down below. And also make sure you check out the demo video that I did of pregame hand and nail buff. Deidre's loving it. Here she used it, sent me a little photo. Uh, everyone that I've sent it to, my swatch team for Candy Coated Cheesecake, they all received little jars of this and everybody loved it. Everybody looked at Deidre's little picture with the candies. Ugh. Way, way, way too cute. Unfortunately, I didn't get, here are Jenny's swatches. Unfortunately, at the time that I filmed this, I didn't have all of her swatches. I only had five, so I am missing three there. This is Ralphie's Nail Fee. Ralph only had time to swatch two polishes, so I, he chose to do the turquoise and the peach. Here's G Money showing off the stampin'. Here are Jay's swatches. Ooh, absolutely stunning. Okay, guys, I will see you at basisloadedlacquer.com on March the 4th. Hope to see you there. Bye.